What's up, Guitar Amp Nerds? How you doing? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Hey, this week I did a little live stream just the other day on uh, on tubes and about the current sort of geopolitical crisis and how it's affecting tube supply. One of the things that I did this week is order what's available, which was a set of uh, EL34s from t uh, Tube Amp Doctor, the Red Base Series tubes. Uh, I just got them in uh, yesterday. I ordered them and then I think they got into stock at Tube Amp Doctor in Germany the next day and then they turned them around the day after that and sent it to me. So long story short, within about four or five days I had the tubes in hand. So just a little aside here and to be totally clear about where these tubes are coming from because I know this can be a confusing subject. Tad, Tube Amp Doctor, has been working with this company PS Vane in China to get these tubes going, these red base tubes going. They've got a 6L6 and EL34 and there's other ones in the pipeline evidently. Uh, but anyways, they're made in China by PS Vane, which is a relatively new tube company. And uh, it's not the same as the Shuguang company, which is the Chinese tube factory that's been making tubes for like eons now for Marshall and for Vox and for you know everybody under the sun. Amp makers for the last 30, 40 years have been getting their tubes from the Shuguang folks. This is actually a different company. It was started by some ex Shuguang employees actually, but it's a different factory, different tooling, the whole nine yards. So it's made in China by a company called PS Vane sent to Tube Amp Doctor in Germany. They match the tubes, test them, and then send them out. And so today I thought, let's put them in my 50 watt GMP. I'll have Dave Friedman bias it up and uh, we'll listen to them and actually compare them uh, to what I've got in there now, which is some uh, RFT Siemens EL34, some new old stock. But at least today we can take a listen to them, see what they sound like, and make sure that they're matched and that they buy us up okay and that they don't run away as soon as we plug them in and all that good kind of stuff. So let's get to it. 92 euros shipped. Shipping was 25 euros. 66 euros for the pair of matched tubes. And they come you know, nicely boxed and uh, packed properly. I got my knife and fork here to eat my salad later. Uh, let's take a look at the tubes. And there we have it, the Tad Eel 34 STR red base tube. So I'm gonna pop these in my old 50 watt Marshall, my 72 Marshall right now. It's got Siemens in it, you know, the RFT. I'm gonna record the amp right now. I think I'll use my looper to play a lick through the amp. I'll dial it in for a cool tone and then play a lick through the looper so that it's exactly the same when you hear it with the other tubes. Uh, so let's get the amp dialed in and get a great sound going with the, the existing setup with the Siemens tubes and see how it sounds. <laughs> There's like a, a, a new version. A new version an and version. an old version. My amp? Not my amp. Cool. Well, here's these things. Let me read about where you said it last, 32 or something? Yeah. 31-ish. Plug in and play, maybe. There you go. It's just right about the same as the. Uh, I just popped them in and they uh, happen to be about a match with the RFTs. Crazy. Close, anyway, right? Let's see what the other two breeds. It's going to hit 30. Yeah, it's right on. Pretty damn close. It'll probably hit 31. Nice job, Tube Amp Doctor. Thank you. 
Well, long story short, I think they sound great. Um, I think they sound almost exactly the same as the Siemens tubes. Um, they maybe have a little bit more bass, and the, the RFT Siemens tubes are known for being kind of skinny on the bass. Some folks like that about them, actually. But these are really, really close. They just have a little bit more fuller low end, which uh, uh, some people might find that, you know, more appealing. And through the mids and the top end, they sound like basically identical to me, at least in this amp at the setting that I had it at. It's not a comprehensive test by any means, but cranking the amp up to about seven and making those tubes cook for sure, working them, um, they're just really pleasing sounding. And it's just nice to know there's another really cool option out there. <laughs> Once again, kudos to Tube Amp Doctor for matching them so well. I mean, they literally are an identical match. I'll keep them in there, beat them up over the next few weeks, and report back, let you guys know what I think. But anyways, thanks again, Tube Amp Doctor. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe so that you'll get an alert when I put out new videos. I'll see you real soon. I'm Pete Thorne. Take care.